Omura Masujiro. Omura was born in what is now part of Yamaguchi City, Japan, and had a strong passion for learning and medicine from a young age. He studied Rangaku Western Studies in Osaka under Ogata Koan and later continued his education in Nagasaki under the guidance of Philip Franz von Siebold, the first European to teach Western medicine in Japan. Omura's interest in Western military tactics developed in the 1850s, and he became a crucial contributor to the establishment of Japan's modern army after the Meiji Restoration. Omura initially returned to his village to practice medicine but accepted an offer from Daimyo Date Munanari to become an expert in Western studies and a military school instructor in exchange for samurai rank. He was sent back to Nagasaki to study warship construction and navigation due to increased foreign incursions and pressure to end Japan's national seclusion policy. He also learned English from American missionary James Curtis Hepburn. In 1861, Chasha Domain hired Omura to teach at their military academy and modernize their army. This marked the beginning of his involvement with Kido Takayoshi, a political moderate who bridged the gap between Chashu samurai supporting the overthrow of Tokugawa rule and the domain bureaucracy. Upon returning to Chashu, Omura introduced modern Western weaponry and the idea of military training for both samurai and commoners, which was met with controversy. However, his approach was validated when his troops defeated the shogunate's all-samurai army during the second Chashu expedition in 1866. These same troops played a crucial role in the Sacho Alliance's armies during the Boshin War of the Meiji Restoration from 1867 to 1868, participating in battles such as Tobag, Fushimi and Weno. After the Meiji Restoration, the Japanese government recognized the need for a centralized and loyal military force. Omura was appointed as Hyobiyu Dayu, equivalent to Vice Minister of War, and tasked with creating a national army following Western models. He aimed to expand the successful policies he had implemented in Chashu, including conscription and military training for commoners, instead of relying on feudal forces. Additionally, he strongly supported discussions to abolish the Han system, which included private armies maintained by daimyo and were seen as resource draining and security risks. In a council meeting in June 1869, Omura advocated for the government to achieve military independence and strength by abolishing feudal fiefs and their armies, eliminating privileges of the samurai class, and implementing universal military conscription. He envisioned a military modeled after Napoleonic French armies and a navy patterned after the British Royal Navy. Despite French support for the Tokugawa regime during the Meiji Restoration Wars, Omura insisted on the return of the French military mission to train his newly formed troops. Omura encountered resistance from fellow samurai, particularly the conservative ones, who viewed his modernization and military reforms as overly radical. His proposals threatened not only the livelihoods but also the privileged social status of many samurai. Omura's strong character was evident in his deep disdain for the restrictive feudal military system. There is even an anecdote about him refusing to converse with a close comrade who wore a long samurai sword during a conference, highlighting his frustration with the traditional samurai culture. The opposition from certain samurai ultimately led to Omura's downfall in the late 1860s. While Prince Kamatsu Akihito held the nominal position of minister in charge of military affairs, Omura was the driving force behind the reforms. 
he appointed his disciple Yamada Akiyoshi as vice minister, responsible for selecting non-commissioned officer candidates. Yamada trained about 100 individuals, primarily from various units of Chashu Domain, starting in September at the Kawahigashi Training Center in Kyoto. In September 1869, Omorat established a military training barracks near Osaka Castle, where French instructors were stationed. Additionally, he decided to build a gunpowder factory in Uji, Kyoto, and an armory known as the Osaka Artillery Arsenal in Osaka. The decision to relocate the core of the army to the Kansai region was influenced by geographical considerations, as Osaka was more central and provided better response capabilities for domestic incidents. It was also partly motivated by the desire to distance himself from the Okubo faction, which obstructed his military reforms. Despite concerns and rumors about threats to Omura's life, he decided to personally inspect the new facilities he had established. After touring various military sites, including the Fushimi Parade Ground, the planned ammunition depot in Uji, military installations at Osaka Castle, and the naval base at Tempazan, he returned to Kyoto on October 8. The following evening, during dinner at a ryokan in Kayamachi, Kyoto, he was attacked by eight assassins, including Dan Shinjiro, a former Chashu retainer. Omura sustained serious injuries, including cuts to his forehead, left temple, arm, right finger, right elbow, and right knee joint. He narrowly escaped by hiding in a bath filled with dirty water. On September 20th, Omura received medical treatment from Dr. Antonius Franciscus Bajuan of the Dutch legation and Ogata Koryoshi. He was later transferred to a hospital in Osaka, carried on a stretcher by Tarachi Masatake and Kodama Gentaro, and cared for by Kusumoto Ayane and her daughter AKO. Unfortunately, his condition did not improve, and on November 1st, he developed a high fever due to septicemia. His condition deteriorated, leading to his passing on the night of November 5, 1869. He was 44 years old. Despite an attempt to amputate his left thigh by Bajuan on October 27, delays in obtaining permission for the operation from Tokyo authorities contributed to his worsening condition. Omura's assassins were captured and initially sentenced to death. However, they were spared at the last moment due to political pressure from government officials who shared their belief that Omura's reforms were a threat to the samurai class. They were eventually executed a year later. On November 13, Omura was posthumously awarded the court rank of junior third rank, and his widow received 300 gold rio in recognition. His body was returned to Yamaguchi for a funeral on November 20, and his grave is located in the public graveyard in Susenji village, now part of Yamaguchi city. This grave was designated as a National Historic Site in 1935 and is accessible by a 25-minute walk from Yatsutsuji Station on the JR West Sanyo Main Line. In 1888, Omura's grandson Omura Hiroto, the heir of his adopted son, was granted a title of Viscount within the Kazoku Peerage, honoring his grandfather's achievements. Omura's core theory of universal military conscription was officially adopted by the Imperial Japanese Army under Yamagata Aritamo in 1873. Soon after Omura's death, a bronze statue in his honor was erected by Okumaru Jihiro. This statue was placed at the entrance of the Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo, a monument dedicated to Japanese individuals who died in battle and remains highly respected and visited in Japan. 
This statue was notable as it was the first Western style sculpture in Japan. Following Omura's death, his ideas for modernizing Japan's military were carried forward by his followers, including Yamagata Aritamo, Kido Takayoshi, and Yamada Akiyoshi. Among them, Yamada Akiyoshi played a significant role in implementing Omura's military concepts, establishing new military academies that taught Omura's principles. Yamagata Aritamo and Seigo Tsugumaki also embraced Omura's ideas when enacting legislation for universal military conscription in 1873. Yamagata Aritamo, a devoted disciple of Omura, traveled to Europe to study military science and techniques adaptable to Japan. Upon his return, he organized a 10,000-strong force to form the core of the new Imperial Japanese Army. The French military mission returned in 1872 to assist in equipping and training this new army, aligning with Omura's vision. While Omura couldn't fully realize his radical ideas during his lifetime, the lasting influence he had on his followers significantly shaped the development of the Meiji military in the years that followed. Thank you for watching.